Hi. In this video, we are going to be looking at the document-based question. We're going to be going through two sample responses, talking about and looking at a high response that received all of the points and another response and why that other response did not receive the points. So the DBQ that we are going to be using, once again, hippo is your magical word. The points come from hippo. This is the very same optional DBQ that you will be doing. It has a prompt. It is a man by the name of Bartholome de las Casas, and it is a letter to King Charles V explaining why they disobeyed the king's governor. So remember, your points come from hippo. The very first point is the H when you write your dbq response clearly label the h the i the p the p the o so in this response you start out talking about historical context what is going on at the time when the source was created. So it's a good thing to start off this letter from Bartholomew de las Casas, the Spanish Catholic religious leader, was written when Europeans were entering the new world to join the natives. That's one point, you're setting up the context. The second point for the H comes from being very specific. You have to link the larger time period to the specific topic of concern that the prompt or the document is addressing. In this case, this essay, this paragraph says, when the new world to join the natives, specifically when the Europeans were forming the encomienda system, claiming it was helping and protecting the natives. Once again, you take the broader context, the Europeans are entering the new world into a smaller issue that is specifically mentioned in the document. So that receives two points. Notice the response has the H clearly labeled at the end of the sentence or two sentences or even three sentences. So you look at the I in hippo. Las Casas was writing to the King of Spain. That's the intended audience. Not only do you have to state the intended audience, but you have to state the why. Why is he writing to the King of Spain? And he is writing to the King of Spain in an attempt to speak out for those who have no voice, because he was the only person to give the natives the freedom that they deserved. So it's not just he's writing to the king. If, if you say he's writing to the king, that receives one point. You have to explain more. Keep in mind, this one was pretty clear that it says in a letter written to the king. Some of the documents are not going to be so easy. It is not enough ever, ever, ever to simply say this is intended for the people. Who people? What people? You have to look at who the speaker is and why they're giving the speech, why they drafted the document, if it's a diary, etc., etc. So let's move on to the POV, the first of the P's, point of view. Point of view is your opinion. This is where you get into Bartholomew de las Casas himself. As a Spanish historian and Dominican missionary, clearly pointing out who this person is, it's going to impact the bias of the person. Bartholomew is biased against a European opposition of racial subjugation and the fact the natives are being treated as barbarians. So again, clearly stating who or what he is for or against the bias. The confident tone of the letter Tone is a big one here for point of view. Is it angry? Is it sad? Is it hopeful? Et cetera. I know that you guys learn tone words in your English classes. Now is another time to use them. The confident tone of the letter shows he strongly believes in his plea because after stating what a barbarian is, he proves that Native Americans do not fall into that category. So again, point of view is crystal clear in this example. Each one of these so far, the H, the I, the P, would each have received two points. Moving on to the second P, which is purpose. Why is he writing a letter to the King of Spain? Letters took months 
to travel across the Atlantic Ocean. You had a quill pen to dip it in ink. It was not easy just to sit and write a letter. It's not like tweeting or sending a text today. So why, what is his purpose? His purpose, you state it out, his purpose in writing the king this letter was hoping it would push the king into allowing the natives to gain their freedom. So he's not just writing to inform the king. He wants the king to do something. So when you think of purpose, think of action. What action can come out of this? That receives the two points. One is he's hoping it's going to, you know, the purpose is he's writing it to notify the king that the natives are being treated badly. Yes, yes, yes. But he wants the king to do something. This is the king of Spain. He has power beyond measure. He can free the natives. So keep that in mind. You have to get action for the purpose. And last, the O of the hippo is outside information. The outside information is something that is not in the document, but ties in specifically to what is going on in the historical context. This letter refers to the encomienda system created by the Spanish incomers to the New World. Nor in the document that you can see any of this when you look back, it does not mention the encomienda system. So anything that would relate to the time period that is specific, it has to be a specific historical term, a proper noun, proper name. This document-based question, this paragraph receives a 10, two points for each. Let's go on and let's look at one that is a little bit lacking, but still receives some points. Starting off, this is a letter written by Bartholomew de las Casas during the time of the encomienda system, around 1550. Again, it's setting it up. It's giving you a little bit of information that would receive one point because it's, it, it, it's enough to get the point, but it's not enough to link specifically to the topic. So moving on to the intended audience, he wrote this letter to the Native Americans since they were not able to defend themselves. So this person clearly misread. It's written to the king about the Native Americans. It's not written to the Native Americans. So this person did not receive the points on that. They are correct in saying that the king had complete control, but the letter was to the king. So the intended audience is incorrect. You have to be correct in your historical information as well. So let's talk about point of view. This person does okay on this. Bartholomew de las Casas was a Catholic religious leader. Yes, that is true. This is a point. So he naturally, he would want to do the right thing. He realized this group of innocent people needed help. So he felt the need to do something. He wanted to take advantage of his power and help the natives with their problems. That's where this kind of goes off the rails. He was a religious leader. So the point of view is that he wanted to help and do the right thing. But he did not want to take advantage of his own power. He wanted the king to step in. And it doesn't say who he is for and who he's against. It doesn't clearly talk about explicit bias. So let's move on. The purpose of his letter is to defend the Native Americans as they deal with their issues. That's that's correct. So that is just enough to get the point. It doesn't talk about the, the action. What are their issues? What does he want to happen to their issues? This is where you have to tie in so intended audience and purpose can link, at least in this case. This person does have this clearly labeled with the H, the I, the P, and the P, and the O. Last but not least, this Latin was writ written in a time when Europeans were coming to the New World from the Colombian Exchange. So again, it's outside evidence, but it does not clearly tie to the Native Americans. If it would have said at a time when the Native Americans were being decimated by diseases brought from the Colombian Exchange or when religion was coming. So again, it is enough to earn that one point. This response right here sadly would not have scored a proficient. It would not have scored a six. Not enough. So this if this was turned in, would have to be resubmitted and the scores averaged. So I hope that you found this helpful, learning a little bit about and actually seeing responses for the document-based question. 
always keep in mind, you want to err on the side of adding more information rather than less. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to one of us, myself, Dr. Hensi, and Ms. Navaria for help on the DBQ.